Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Thanks for checking out today's video. I apologize for the lighting. I thought this would be a great time to film because the sun is out, but it seems to be not quite bright enough, which has my flash engaged and I'm not gonna mess with it because I feel like if I do, I'm probably gonna end up having to re-film this video multiple times. Sometimes it's best just to go with it. So, <clears throat> As promised, um, my March 2021 hair, skin, and body care empties is much larger than February's was. In fact, I'm filming this before the end of March because I can't fit any more into my bin. And um, I already have stuff that can't fit in the bin. So we're just going to film it anyway and probably upload this before the end of March, but that's okay. That's sort of just how it goes, right? All right, guys, let's just jump in. I finished up a lot this month. First up, I finished up my beloved Sleep Black Chamomile in the lotion. I have one of these sitting next to my bed. I have one of these sitting next to my couch. I love this scent. You guys know that. It is so relaxing, so soft, so beautiful. I apologize about my hands. I just um, took some false nails off and actually applied this lotion. <laughs> so uh, my hands are a hot mess. I do apologize. Um, but funny story with this. Um, these are glass bottles, which is, you know, great. Um, it's obviously more expensive packaging. I store these upside down at the end to get as much as I can out of them. And I usually just lean them like that. I did that <laughs> um, next to my couch and it fell. So I had it on a ladder type. Well, no, I had it on a three tiered shelf on the top. I leaned it up against the wall. It fell to the second shelf, which knocked pretty much everything over, including my Scentsy Warmer, which was on and fully pulled out. Guys, I cannot tell you how many waxidents I have had since um, using Scentsy, it's actually embarrassing. <laughs> but anyway, because this bottle was so dang heavy, it like knocked everything over. But great product, would repurchase only if it was a really good sale. In the same vein, I finished one of my Sleep Black Chamomile scrubs. This is um, a charcoal body scrub. Like it's actually like grayish black. Um, I've already rinsed this, so it's kind of hard to tell, but you can see a little bit in the lid, the color there, that gray. I love using this product. I work overnight shifts, long overnight shifts. And um, if I'm able, I try to shower after work in the morning before going to bed. But showering tends to wake me up. So I usually, usually that's when I use my black chamomile body care products. Because I feel like in my head, <laughs> um, it doesn't wake me up as much as like, a normal fragrance would but anyway um picked that up at the i want to say the summer sas and i want to say it was like 5.95 and i grabbed two so i still have one more i also finished up i and i warned you guys this would happen because i didn't have a lot of body care in february because i was working on so many different things i just never finish anything um i finished up my champ one of my champagne toast moisturizing body washes um my intention actually was to use that around new year's i just didn't get around to it i have the matching body cream which i'm sort of still working on but you guys know what champagne toast smells like it's it smells like candy i love it i always say it smells like sweet tarts candy oh, so good pink champagne black currant chambord and sparkling nectarine I, I've noticed I like anything with nectarine, and I know I love anything with currants, so. Also really love that packaging. That was one of my favorite types of packaging I've ever seen champagne toast come out in. I also finished up a champagne toast hand soap. Sorry, <laughs> brain fart. Um, I think the scent notes are the same on the soap. No. Bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, juicy tangerine. It smells exactly the same, so this soap was great. Very bright smelling, um, so I thought it was kind of fitting for early spring. 
love that packaging too. I have a hand soap in that packaging still in Endless Weekend because I had bought a few of those. I have one left. Um, I've gotten to the point where as much as I love packaging and, and isn't that beautiful, um, it's not worth like not using a product over. So I'm just using my products, you know, and it feels really good. This I actually finished a while ago and just forgot to put it in my bin. Um, it's just a Tresemme cheap conditioner that I was mixing hair color with because it's a white conditioner. Um, yeah, I think I got it at um, Dollarama for like three bucks. That's usually where I get my big jugs of white conditioner to mix with hair color because I'm not gonna spend a lot of money on something that I'm using just to dilute color. Another one that just didn't make it into my bin last month. I had a lot of products in my shower that were either empty or like one use left. I've mentioned this before. I love Aussie Three Minute Miracle Moist. Love, love, love. Um, I mix this with blue conditioner, as you can see, um, to sort of tone my hair um, when it's blonde. And also when it's colored, I tend to, when I use semi-permanent hair colors on myself, I tend to always veer towards cool tones because I think they suit me more. So you can pretty much use blue shampoo or conditioner or purple shampoo and conditioner to tone any hair color. Um, in the last year, I've done some very blue toned pinks and blue toned purples. So I was able to use the toning conditioner for that. I finished up and again I mentioned in my last body care empties that I'm taking a break from protein on my hair. Um, I think my hair was severely over proteinized. If you don't know what that means you can you can look it up like I had to. Um, I've always had very strong hair and it always bounces back um, no matter what I do to it and I usually know what I'm doing as far as bleaching and and coloring and styling but I was having major major hair breakage and loss um, and I, I just don't think it was from bleached hair I haven't bleached my hair in months um, and it just kept breaking and falling out and when I did some research it really seemed like I probably had over proteinized my hair um, and I was using, and now that I've looked, like every hair product I have has protein in it. That is not good. Um, and I tend to layer, right? I usually shampoo, do a mask, and then I do an oil or whatever. They All those products have protein. It's really hard to find hair products that don't have protein, um, but these seem to be protein free. So I've been using the Color Radiance line a lot. Um, so I finished up one of the conditioners as well as one of the deep conditioners. I use a lot of um, conditioner and mask on my hair. Um, I, well, I used to have a lot of hair until it started breaking off and falling out. <laughs> but um, my hair tends to be more coarse because it's naturally curly. So it's a little more dry naturally. So um, with that... I find I need to use a lot of conditioner or mask or whatever it is I'm using to really saturate my hair. And you know what? I'm fine with using a ton of conditioner. I mean, there's worse things in the world. Um, <clears throat> I finished up this sample of the Pixi Glow Mud Cleanser. This I got from one of my Ipsy bags, and I don't know if it was something I added on or something I selected or what. I probably did. Um, but it is like a mud cleanser. It's, I feel like there's tea tree oil in it. It felt like there was. Um, I just sort of had this in the shower and was using it until it was gone um, instead of my regular cleanser. I did like it. I would purchase it if it was a good price, but I'm pretty cheap and I have a feeling that it's more money than I would be willing to spend. Oh, more black chamomile. <laughs> I finally finished up the body wash and foam bath. So I basically got through an entire system of sleep black chamomile. I always have some sleep black chamomile products going because it is one of my favorite fragrances. I mostly used this, as I said earlier, after work um, in the shower. But I also did have a couple of bubble baths with it, and I will say it was very foaming, which I loved. Um, I think the scent notes, it doesn't say, 
I want to say in the candle, the sleep says bergamot and black chamomile. Or is it sandalwood? No, I think it's bergamot and black chamomile. But for some reason, the body care doesn't say that. So I don't know. All smells the same to me. I finally finished up a winter candy apple. Um, I try, I usually use up a winter candy apple hand soap every year because I love this fragrance. It's just sweet. It literally does smell like a candy apple with that like red candy glaze. And I'm not hating it. Um, there's no scent notes on this package. I think it's just like apple, orange, and something else. Don't quote me. Um, my memory sucks. <laughs> it really sucks. I'm gonna move you guys a little bit. I always run out of room in these videos. I told you guys, I got through a lot of stuff. And last but not least, it takes me a while to get through these bad boys. I finished up a Scentsy Soak in Apricot Vanilla. Um, I actually at one point was using this with the Black Chamomile Bubble Bath. That may sound weird, but it, it actually really worked well together. Scent notes here are heirloom peach, apricot, and vanilla ice cream. I wanted to try it in the soak because it's not the strongest performer in wax. Although I do, I do get some strength and throw from it. Some people get none. Here's my thing. Really, really strong when it's in the bag, right? I'm finding with the Scentsy Soaks, I do really enjoy them. And I think they're an okay value. Um for how much you get because you get almost a kilogram in a bag. I find when I put them in the tub, I can smell the scent well while I'm pouring it into the hot water. I usually pour it in while the hot water is filling the tub. But very quickly, I don't smell it anymore. So I don't know if I just get nose blind to the Scentsy Soaks really quickly. Let me know in the comments below if you have experience with the Scentsy Soaks and if you find the same thing. I've noticed it with every fragrance I've used. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's not just the apricot vanilla. And again, it could just be me going nose blind, I don't know. But this is a stunning fragrance. It's beautiful, it's sweet, it's soft, it's girly. Um, great for a bath. And I do enjoy the color. The color of the water sort of was like a peachy color. But yeah, I don't know. And I do quite enjoy what they do for my skin. I do find that the Scentsy Soaks are quite moisturizing. Um, I don't feel the need to like slather my body in cream <laughs> when I'm done. But yeah, I don't know. It's sort of hard for me to justify the cost when I know that like half the reason that you get a bath soak from Scentsy is because of the fragrance, right? So I don't know. We'll see. I still have a full blue grotto to get through and a full aloe water and cucumber. And I have more on the way in my Scentsy Club. So, although you might have already seen that video by the time you see this video. Mm, not sure. Probably. But anyway, I have other fragrances. And obviously, in my empties, I will report back. But that's that. Holy cow. It definitely does not even fit in my camera. I'm going to try to not knock everything over. And I'm going to try to get this all in here so I can take a, a good thumbnail for y'all. And if I can't, I'll just have to make a title page one. All right, guys. So <laughs> I feel like I sped through that. And I'm very impressed at how quickly we got through it. But that's that. Guys, that's what I got through in March 2021. What did you use? Have you used any of these products? And if so, what do you think? I do really appreciate all of you guys stopping by and watching my videos. It's so cool. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you dig this sort of content, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more. And guys, until your next, until the next time I see you, or I guess the next time you see me or see my products, <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderfully scented day. Bye guys.